Welcome to this new video. Today we start a new series around Spring Boot 3.2.0. A new all-in-one Spring Boot project with Timeleaf, JDBC Client, REST Client, and Spring Security. Let's start with Part 1. We start with the code in Eclipse. In the POM XML file we have Spring Boot Starter 3.2.0 and Java version 21. The dependencies Spring Boot Starter Web and Spring Boot Starter Timeleaf. The main class is a standard Spring Boot main class. In the application YAML file we have server port 8080. We have three very simple service classes. The home service class with the get text method returns home. The user service class with the get text method returns user. And the admin service class with the get text method returns admin. The last class is the home controller. We make home service, user service and admin service available with constructor injection. The home method returns the index page with the text of the home service. The index method redirects to the home method. The user method returns the user page with the text of the user service. And the admin method returns the admin page with the text of the admin service. Now we go to the HTML files. We have index.html user HTML and admin HTML. To avoid having to rewrite recurring code every time, we use a template HTML file. In this template HTML file we have three pieces of reusable code. Navbar, main text, and footer. We now use these templates in the other HTML files. In index.html we have navbar, main text, and footer. Between main text and footer we have a small piece of HTML that is different in every HTML file. In user HTML you have the same layout, with the three templates and a piece of text. The admin HTML file is also created in the same way. The last file is the style CSS. With some simple formatting. We can now start the project and look at the results in a browser window. We view the project in a browser window and open localhost 8080. We see the home page. In the top right corner we have a menu with a link to all pages. User. Admin and back to home. That's it for this video, in the next video we will configure Spring Security so we can control which user can view which pages. Thank you for following and supporting our channel. All questions, comments and new ideas are always welcome in the comments below this video. All code is also always available on the GitHub website. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any new content. Thank you.